X, Jason Debney Morning X. Uh, at Debo Keefe tweets at Jason and De- at Debo underscore Keefe. Thank you. There we go. Tweets at Jason and Deb says, if you're going uh, price per ounce, you got to go beef jerky. Uh, apparently that's the answer. As several people have indicated, uh, Brett with one T, Jason, the seemingly easy answer to get closer to $1,000 at 7-Eleven is the local made beef jerky. Usually small packages over 10 bucks. Don't waste time on the mass produced items. But that's going to make you so thirsty. Mm. And then I guess you just go and chug a bunch of the Slurpee. <laughs> uh, Chad and Cincy says the obvious answer to get to $1,000 is beef jerkies and alcohols. I guess beef. I, I've never really. I have never bought beef jerky. I've probably sampled others' beef jerkies, but I've never bought myself beef. You like jerky. your you like your uh, meats like you like yourself, just kind of like moist. Yeah, moist and warm. Beef jerky is dehydrated, right? Yeah, I like my meat hydrated. Hydrated mm-hmm. AF. Yeah. Jason just like to take like a, a hunk of raw meat, put it in the back of his car until it's shriveled up like jerky. Then he just. I, I, mm. I don't. I don't mm. do that. Uh, Julio from SA says, are you talking about consume or just fill the basket? Because if you're just nah, filling the basket, consume. those cigarette cartons are pricey. Yeah. No, you got to consume them. Can. So then can do they sell cigars there? Can you uh, choke back a few cigars? You know uh, what? They're expensive. You go off to the ATM machine. That's how you do it. That's $1,000 in there easy. You eat that money. You got to uh, consume it. Dave is the door guy says, if you're just doing hot dogs, they're two for $1.50. You'd have to eat around 1,300 hot dogs. <laughs> now, if you do about half uh, if you do half that, about 666 dogs, you're at 500 and you just got to start b- crushing beers while you're dogging. <laughs> that sound like fun. I'm about it. Mm, I uh, look up what dogging means. El anyway. Flamingo SA says, dark to dark is going to be the color of your stool after binging on convenience <laughs> store food. <laughs> And punk rock physicist says, I can confirm, Jason will not read aloud everything sent to him. <laughs> Thanks for always keeping, <laughs> me on, keeping me on high alert there, buddy. That's awesome. Uh, we got some boomerangs to give away. Boomerang, no longer just a fun throwing device, not just an awesome Eddie Murphy movie. They do meat pies. Yeah, Deb, not you just know an about. app either. Don't forget the boomerang app. What's a boomerang app? You're so old. You know, where it's like... What, a, is that a, the, the kids are all into the boomerang app? No, it's old. It's old. Kids are over the boomerang app. What did the boomerang do? It's, it's where you have a short video and it just loops it. It's like someone going... Wah, 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 wah. Mm. I remember not doing it when it was yeah, cool. All right. Jesus Christ. But yes, not just all those things anymore. Actually, not for yeah. 15 years. Uh, they make meat pies, and now beyond meat pies, uh, inside half an hour-ish, we're going to give away a boomerang pie party package. They're going to send six frozen pies plus, Eng- plus English slash Aussie-, Aussie crackers parallelogram. <laughs> wow. Parallelogram. Uh, and other fun stuff to the winner's home. How about that for a promotional announcement? Nailed it! It's Tuesday. That means we find out what's up with Deb in Deb's Diary. Dear Diary, I'm just going to throw this in here for Diary time because I would like to, to have its own standalone moment. But Jason has uh, protested. Jason doth protest that I am no good at the Am I Trash segment. Um, because. Well, yeah, look, you're you just. You say my trash is not trash enough. You are the boy who called, who cried cr- trash. And then right? I'm not trash enough. What were the. You did two of them before I even got to two. Oh, Christmas tree at Walmart. Yeah, that was it. It was just, I went to Walmart. <laughs> Am I trash? No. By the way, it's boxed up. It's like and the it's, most popular store in America. And it's ready to go. I'm uh, going to donate it to charity. I think there's a new Austin Pets Alive thrift shop near my house. I'm going to drop it off there. Go buy it next Christmas when yeah, you need uh, a treat. All right, then. Deeply discounted, I'm sure. But just be warned, it'll cover your house in glitter. Uh, and I forget what the other one was, but I'm pretty sh- Oh, man, I just remembered where I was when I did this. You're going to tell me that is going to say it's not trash. <laughs> Damn it. All right. You are incapable of trash. <laughs> no, Knock it off. All right? I don't know about that. Uh, you should see my backyard right now and how much poop there is in there. It's so much poop. Mm. Uh, all right. So this last weekend, I met up with a friend for a social distancing late lunch. Uh, slash, I took foster dog Henry out to for him to flirt with everybody. Uh, I do have a potential adopter I don't really want to talk about it too much in case it doesn't happen. Uh, so I've been like quiet about it, but uh, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna go to his forever home today. Mm. Just say no take backs. I'm really mm. excited. Right. No, you can't. As a foster parent, yeah. you always say if it doesn't work out, bring him back. And you don't want that as like the easy uh, out, but they you don't want them to go into the yeah. shelter. So I took Do Henry. You have the same policy with that uh, trash Christmas tree. 
If no, some, that's somebody gone. Somebody adopts it and they get it to their Out. house and it, no. it glitters that all over their backyard. That comes with a disclaimer. This is yours now. <laughs> they're, they're this like, is hey. to die with you in a fire and your hat when you're dead and you just. I don't know where that was going. So I took Henry downtown and I met my friend at True Foods, which uh, that's where I just realized yeah, it's a very, DM. very nice place. Am I trash? No. It's very nice, very good, clean food. Oh my God, they have these edamame dumplings. I just want to drink that. I just want to. Is it be trash if I picked up because it comes in this little miso soy mm-hmm. stuff? If I just sipped it, if I slurped it out of the mm. uh, bowl, would that be trash? No, you have to put a straw into it. I'm not even kidding. They brought us a straw with our drinks, and I looked at my friend and I said, "That's for the for the dumpling juice because it it's so good." Dumpling is a real. Uh, Adam Carolla does this bit called "Rich Man <laughs> Poor Man." Steal it from him, yeah, real yeah, quick. Yeah. It's like how uh, like the outdoor shower or uh, uh, an RV. It's like you only have that if you're super rich mm-hmm. or super poor. Mm-hmm. Like normal the incomed people don't have those things. Yeah, I feel like dumpling is in that world, right? When I was a when I was a broke ass kid, mm-hmm. and my grandma was st- stirring the big pot of stew, like Charlie's grandma and Willy Wonka, yeah. that's just got cabbage in there. I feel like we, there's always some kind of dumpling in there. Well, that's still like a had... suet dumpling is different. Like a du- meatball and dumplings is different than like dumplings with you know like Asian style dumplings, I which had... is like a little pasta pocket I just with something in it. I have, like a pot sticker. I have yeah. not had a dumpling as a grown up. Wu cause... Chow, you never done brunch at Wu Chow. I mean, I've gone to Wu Chow, but I just get the general so chicken. Sum? All right. Oh, the dim sum there is amazing. I don't, I don't want no dumpling. Oh, dumplings are. I remember my friend reminded me. But I me. don't know. Again, I don't know if it's because I'm I'm too fancy or I'm not fancy enough. But I'm you're stupid. I'm in some middle pocket They're here. Delicious. Where yeah, I think seem... you're just ignorant. That hasn't been on your on your list of things to get. But dumplings, like I remember the first time we went to Wu Chow and Blue Boy had a soup dumpling. You've not had the soup dumplings there. They come in this little spoon. <laughs> the first time you went to Wu Chow and your dog had a yeah. dumpling. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of proving my rich man poor what man. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is... So they these little dumplings, and you put them on a spoon, and you're supposed to like nip them with your tooth, and then right. slurp the soup out, and then use the spoon to eat the rest of the dumpling. Blue Sounds boy, like a lot of work. Unaware that there was soup in this, this dumpling. Brunch come with an instruction manual. And I just put it in his mouth, and it, and when it when it exploded, he was like, Ooh. "It's like one of the most favorite memories of my blue boy ever." And my friend Kara reminded me of that the other day because uh, she was with me at Wu Chow. We went there anyway. We're at True Foods. We ordered the dumpling starter. It's edamame. If you like, it. it's just there's nothing wrong with this thing. That's just. Amazing. Oh, it's really good. But then we, we got that for some appetizers and we we're like, oh, what are we going to get to drink? And again, a nice, uh, like a fancy brunch co- cocktail. So we got this hibiscus tea thing and it was fine. And then the next drink, I wanted it to be more like a Wu Chow drink, which we would always get sparkles, bubbles with a... Uh, Wu Chow, how much did you pay for this segment? What's going on Not at all. Here, not Because I'm actually, I was at one, another place, but we, we, we always used to go Sundays to Wu Chow for, uh, for brunch. And that's what my friend and I were thinking about. Uh, and so I was like, yeah, we used to get their hibiscus iced tea, but mimosa, and we would get a shot of deep eddy grapefruit in it. I don't know why, but that turned out to be our brunch drink. Um, it was you're none really, of these words so far has been close I was going to say, you're really tumbling down the trash road here. <laughs> but here's where it changed, guys. Because Just knowing the word hibiscus disqualifies <laughs> you from trash forever. All right, well, hold That's on. It. This is, This might push me over the edge. So here I am with my leftover hibiscus iced tea with uh with Tito's in it mm-hmm. and there's probably an inch or so left in the bottom of my glass and the lady asked me Lily was her name I remember she was a very nice young lady asked me if uh, we needed anything else I was like yeah I kind of wanted a drink like that Wu Chow drink and she didn't have the deep eddy grapefruit so <clears throat> she says how about grapefruit tequila and I was like Dulce Vida because we know the people there our mm-hmm. friends Frankie is yeah. one of the reps or the yeah. owners or something unbelievable amounts of plug send segment. everything my way and uh, and I said you know what give me a Prosecco with a side of the Dulce Vida tequila and then she's like how about some grapefruit puree with that I was like yeah yeah, yeah bring that out too so then puree, puree yeah trash all right. AF all right look so it all came out I just poured it all into one glass. Uh-huh. And I said, this is like one of those beer mat shots, right? And, <laughs> you know, that you'd have when you were 20. And she's like, what? I go, you know. And she's like, bar, no, bar mat. I'm 20. Bar mat, right? Yeah, we call it, yeah, same thing. Beer but mat is the same thing? In England, oh, whatever. Sure. But, uh, okay. yeah, but she, she's like, no, I don't know. I don't, I've never done that. I'm like, well, this has got to be the equivalent of that. This is a trash drink, right, Cara? She's like, oh, yeah, that's a trash drink. You're a, you're, that's a trash Drink. Brian? Yeah. Are we trash? Kinda. Oh, I love trash.
Right? Why does he want to go to the trash? Because right? he was made from trash. Get in there, you big boy! Oh. I don't care what you smell! Just accept the fact that you're white trash, all right? Take a look at yourself! Yes, I love trash! Am I trash? Yeah. Am I trash? No. No. <laughs> but I did all I mean, the... even if you were trying... <laughs> First no? of all, no. yeah, you made yourself no. a, a, a suicide alcohol drink. But Prosecco, that's just champagne, right? Actually, I think they had Cava. They didn't have Prosecco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If it's not, you it's know. sparkly bubbles, but champagne is from France. If, if you were trash, it would be Cooks, okay? Okay. It'd be Cooks, mums. champagne, all right? <laughs> Prosecco, get out of here. And then, yeah, what was it? We got a puree up in here and a <laughs> grapefruit. Oh. Yeah. A tequila? If you were trash, all right, you would have ordered a biscuit tea. Uh, a and biscuit tea. <laughs> what is it? High biscuit tea? Hibiscus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A high biscuit tea, and you would have brought your own airplane bottle of tequila in and poured it in there. <laughs> That's all right? trash. That would have been I trash. just don't get this segment. Be... Yeah, 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 correct. I just don't That's get what it. I'm telling you is that, yeah, you're, you got to stop calling, trying to, plan, trying to be the boy who cried trash. It just doesn't work for you, man. I'll, I'll keep trying. You know, it is, though... So this is a, it's funny because I've, I've told this, told y'all this many times before. You remember the time, it was on Christian's bachelor party when our friend Zach, Deb once made yeah. out with him. No, he uh, forcefully kissed me in my kitchen. I wish you would stop saying that. It's not funny. He stupidly, he ordered a champagne and vodka. Like that was his, we, mm-hmm. it was the first night of a bachelor party and we went to a, the, the poker table. We took over our own table at the Golden Nugget and he's, he ordered a champagne and vodka. And we were like, "What? What is? This? Did you just order champagne and vodka?" And he he said, "I couldn't decide between a screwdriver and a mimosa," and said, or, "I couldn't decide between champagne and orange juice and vodka and orange juice," mm-hmm. and it just came out wrong on, on mistake. And I was like, "Well, first of all, you were gonna con- you were considering having a champagne and orange a mimosa as your first drink on the bachelor party? You know what? You do you. That's fine." Uh, and the waitress even questioned him on it, and then she brought it out to him, and it was disgusting. Uh, he disappeared for like a day and a half after that, by the way, too. Yeah. Uh, but now people are putting, adding booze to yeah. champagne all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, all these it's fancy thing. brunch cocktails. Like we all made fun of Zach for ordering it on accident. It's now, now $17 at Wu Chow. It's yeah. very bougie. Well played, Zach. Yeah, he did it. He was a you, pioneer. And you were ahead of the bougie time. It's <laughs> very much how you made fun of me for doing my grape juice mimosas. Oh, but you realized yeah, quickly that was a bad that, mistake. That's, that's trash. That's, <laughs> that's trash. not taken but off, has it? Come 2027. Exactly. <laughs> maybe that's the... It's the rage. They're going to have it in an IV at uh, True Foods. Oh, God. <laughs> You're just going to be able to... <laughs>